Hello, hello. Welcome back. Got another video for you guys. Uh, gonna be doing something a little different today. Uh, today I'll be doing my March Madness 2019 college basketball bracket. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first off, I, ju I just like to say, uh, I think they, they got the whole field right, I'd say. I think all the teams that I think deserved it, I think they all got in, uh, which is weird. That's, that's, uh, like, there's usually at least, like, one team that I, I feel got snubbed, but this year I don't think so. I know a lot of people were saying NC State, but you can't score 24 points in a game and then expect to make it. That was terrible, so I don't think they deserved it, and they didn't get in, so so it's all fine for me. Um, I'm just going to go region by region here and kind of explain what I did. Uh, for the Easter region, this was the easiest one for me. I mean, as you can see, I just picked all the higher seeds except for UCF. Like it even matters. They're just going to get killed by Duke. So, yeah, uh, over that, I picked LSU going to the Sweet 16, even though they did lose their coach. But I still think that, I still think that they are good enough to make it uh, that far. Then they're going to lose to Michigan State. Then Michigan State is going to lose to Duke. Uh, I think Michigan State, um, I think they're good. I think they're kind of due for a, a big run like this. Uh, the past couple of years, they haven't even made it out of the first weekend, which is pretty weird for them. So it's it's about time that they make it that far. I'm going to get stopped by Duke, I think, because, um, you know, um, you know, Michigan State plays really well with the talent that they have. But against Duke, it's just going to be too much. They just, it's, they're just overpowered. I mean, they're going to be outmatched at every position. And I think I think Duke's just going to take care of them. They might hang in it for a second, but they're not going to make it past then. All right. Now let's go to the West. Um, pretty standard here. Uh, I picked I pick Baylor over Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse is too inconsistent, and I like Baylor the whole year. They played really well. Um, other than that, and also I picked Murray State to go to the Sweet 16. Uh, I really like Murray State. They, they seem to play well. And Marquette uh, has really fallen off recently. Florida State too. There's uh, they're pr they're pretty good. They did beat Virginia, but I think Murray State has what it takes for the upset. Uh, I really like John Morant. I think mm -hmm. he's a great player, and um, I think they're going to make it there. But I think Gonzaga is just too good for them. Uh, and then other than that, I like Texas Tech a lot, but it's tough because they're. I think they're going to make it to the Sweet 16, but playing Michigan is tough, and I think they're going to lose to Michigan. Also, Buffalo, they've had a great season, but they're not uh, going to be able to beat Tech, I don't think. Florida and Nevada. Nevada is so bad. Nevada was ranked 6th in the AP poll, and, and they're a 7th seed in the tournament. That's embarrassing. They are not good. They were, they're ranked ahead of teams like Michigan, Michigan State, Tennessee, all teams that would absolutely smoke them. There's no way. Florida isn't that good, but I think they're going to take care of, of Nevada easily. And then they're going to lose to Michigan. Then I think Michigan can beat Gonzaga. That's a close game. That's kind of up and down for me. But I think Michigan will take it. They play really well defensively, and they seem to play really well against every team not named Michigan State. So, uh, But, again, I think, I think Duke's just going, to, just going to overpower them, similarly to what they did to Michigan State. Uh, now let's go into the South region. Um, this one is probably the craziest one. There's always one conference that just gets crazy, and I think it's going to be this one. Um, Virginia has them going to the Elite Eight. Uh, I didn't pick. I didn't pick uh, the 16 this year. I don't think they're going to lose to them, and I don't think they're going to lose in the 32 or in those two 16. Ole Miss, they they play good, but they're not. They're just not good enough. I don't think. And uh, Kansas State. They played good too. They played pretty well, but they're just not good enough. I think Virginia has what it takes. I mean, they've always had the talent, but it depends. I mean, if they choke again, I mean, can't predict anything. But I didn't have them go into the Final Four this year like I did last year. But yeah, and I picked Kansas State over Wisconsin because I think Kansas State uh, plays harder and I think they have more talent overall. Uh, and then, on, and then other than that, I picked Villanova over Purdue. Purdue, I mean. They're pretty good, but they seem to lose against every good team that they play. And Villanova's pretty good. And, uh, if, they, and if Carson Edwards can't get his shot back, then it's going to be really bad for them. And uh, other than that, I have Cincinnati beating Tennessee. Cincinnati going to the Final Four, actually. Usually every year, a two-seed always loses in the first weekend. And I think that's going to be Tennessee. I think they're the weakest two-seed. 
and I think Cincinnati has what it takes because they're way better than a seven. I believe they played really well. I mean, they won the tournament. They beat Houston. They're good. They're they're really turning it around, and I think they have what it takes to beat Villanova and to upset Virginia too. Because even though I don't think Virginia's going to lose, then they always choke at this point, and I think they will again. So Cincinnati's going to win, and then they're going to get absolutely killed by UNC. Uh, I think UNC is going to steamroll through their through the Midwest, pretty much seen more through the championship, to be honest. Um, Washington, they played pretty well. They kind of struggled at the end. I thought they were going to win the Pac-12 easily. They ended up losing in, in the championship, and they lost to California, the, one of the worst teams in the country. But they still got in. I think they can beat Utah State, though. Uh, yeah, but they're going to get killed. And then uh, I have Auburn going to the Sweet 16. Uh, I think they can beat Kansas. They started really trying to... Uh, they really started to turn it around after getting killed by Kentucky. And I think they can be Kansas. Kansas is a lot weaker this year than in previous years. First time and can't even remember when Kansas was in a one seed. Uh, they lost like two of their best players. They're, it's tough for them. Um, I, think, I think Auburn's going to beat them pretty easily. And then other than that, um, Iowa State and Houston. Houston played really well. And I think Houston can upset Kentucky. Houston's a really good team. Uh, they played really well all year, and they still are really good. Uh, they have a great program down there now, and I think they're going to beat Kentucky. They're a pretty scary good team, but again, I think UNC is just going to be too much for them. And then, uh, of course, final Duke versus UNC, probably the best game in the ACC championship. was probably the best game of of the season, in my opinion. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to go back and forth. I could have picked either one, to be honest. Uh, of course, of course, Duke won. The last matchup after they got um, Zion Williamson back, so it'll be interesting. They just barely won. It was really close. Could have won either way, and I think that's how the championship's going to be. I think USC is going to take it, though, and uh, I think they're going to win again. Uh, I really felt really good about uh, UNC the past couple weeks, and I think they're going to prove me right. So, uh, yeah, that's my that's my bracket, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Um yeah, uh, tell me now, what are your crazy upsets, what are your crazy picks, who's your favorite team, who do you have to win, and uh, yeah, that's about it, like, subscribe, and uh, that's how Lil Peep died.